Welcome back to Wood Acres. Today we're heading up to the barn to add something that I've needed for a long time. <laughs> Piper, did you find me? You saw me walking, huh girl? Hey ladies, we have the gate open right now so all the birds are out free ranging. Piper was down at the house but she saw me so she's coming up to see what I'm up to. Can't see anything. And today what I want to do is hook up the float valve for my rain harvest system. Behind the barn here I have two 275 gallon rain harvest tanks and they are just about full right now. I have them connected together so they both have the same amount of water in them and right now we are just under a thousand liters or just over 250 gallons. I have a Y splitter on this and half goes and connects to the other tank and the other half feeds it into the barn where I have another tank. So it goes right through that hole there it's pretty windy out here so hopefully you can hear me just fine we just had a little bit of rain pass through so I don't know if we're supposed to get more of that but what I want to get done out here is to get this hose to go into the barn and have drop all the way going into the barn and down to the tank so whenever I shut it off it can drain completely without having a sag spot where it freezes what are you doing pop you want to go in and see the turkey hut we closed these down we don't have any turkey back here anymore you can smell something huh Ah, uh, I don't think anything's living in here, puppy, but you can check it out. Make sure nothing moved in since we closed it up. No? Nothing? Okay. Nope, nothing living in there. Not until next spring, at least. But we had a pretty warm day today and it rained last night, so I had the tanks hooked together so I could get as much water as I could. But I'm going to close this off now shut this whole tank off actually and disconnect it from this tank and that way this this hose won't freeze and anything break up because I don't need both tanks and I don't want these connections freezing so we'll let that drain out and if I do happen to use all the water out of this tank I can just hook to that tank and then feed from that one next but I don't need to be drawn from both of them at the same time so I have the hose coming through a knot hole right here in the wall and then it coils up here on the ground because I didn't cut up the excess yet because I didn't know exactly how I was going to run it but I have it going this way. It drops down through a hole in the floor right there. So before I hook up the float valve, I wanna get all this excess cut off so I don't have it freezing up on me. So I'm gonna pull it all down through the hole in the floor and try and get this running at a slope downward so all the water would drain out and through the end. It is windy out there. I also got the post stain for the corner post down in the pasture, so I'm going to be getting these done here soon. I'm going to have to get some angles cut on these and get them screwed in so they're nice and sturdy in the corners, and then we're going to be stretching the fence down on the pasture. It's actually really windy today. We have some warm weather here in the beginning of December, but it's supposed to drop here tomorrow, so the wind's coming through and bringing in the cold. Birds, what are y'all doing out here? Mumbles, you heading back down to the pond? Keep an eye on them, Bert. Ladies, you have enough of the field day? Why are all the older ladies in here staying out of the wind? It's a young girls game out there, huh? Nah, they're all coming in too. A little too windy for the chickens. Hi huh, girls? Are you just coming in to see me? Hey ladies. Hey Bert. Hey Sammy. Where's Rufio? Oh, there he is. Hey Rufio. Hey bud. Little Ro, you just jumped through the Dutch door. Is that your little secret entrance girl? Yeah, you're a pretty girl. You were supposed to be a rooster, but you're a pretty girl. All right, so I have the float valve already hooked up here. I was testing it out and it actually leaks. So I still have it hooked up here with the ball valve to shut it off. And it leaks here at the thread. I tried putting the plumber's tape on there, but I'm gonna try a new thing, rolling it up in the threads and seeing if that works. But if this does end up keep leaking, I did get a different one from Tractor Supply. My dad got this one on Amazon and I got a different one from Tractor Supply, but I would need different fittings to attach it. It's a little bit bigger. So I'd need a different adapter. So I was trying this one out first and it does work but it leaks at the connection. So I'm not sure if this one's gonna be the one we keep on the main water supply or not. So I still have the off valve here. And this hose already has an aftermarket end here that I can pull out and replace as we cut this hose shorter and get rid of all this excess. But right here on the corner of the pig pen is where it comes through the floor. Hey Piper, how you doing? And then I'm gonna to wanna to keep it just sloping steadily all the way to here where I have it going into the tank. This tank here is a 65 gallon tank and this one doesn't freeze as often. Even if we have some really cold weather outside, this one is inside the bank barn, which this whole wall is underground behind it. So this tank inside the barn doesn't freeze as often. So it takes multiple days of really cold weather for this one to freeze. So I have a little bit of time to use the 65 gallons of water I have in here, plus the buckets full of water before I have to wait for the hose to thaw out and I can get water from the back tank 
tank again. But without the float valve, I always have to stand here and make sure this tank is full before we have a really cold night when the hose freezes. So it's gonna be nice to have a float valve hooked up here and maintain a full tank of water inside the barn. So I'm gonna need to pull all the excess down here first and then get it in position where I need it and I can line where it's gonna end and I can cut it to fit. And real quick, we have an exciting update and I've really wanted this since I got chickens in the first place, but now that we have roosters this year, it can actually happen. Not you, Speckles. We're not talking about you. We're talking about Dizzy. Dizzy is down in here in the ICU that we built for the injured duck. Hi, Dizzy. Yeah, you're down in there and you got all broody. Dizzy went broody just over a week ago and I'm really excited that she's sitting on a nest. It's cool that it's Dizzy and it's really cool that if she does succeed, we might get little baby chicks before Christmas. Huh, Piper? Is that exciting? Yeah, that's pretty cool. So I piled some things up here to give her some extra coverage just to make sure Piper didn't really go in there and bother her. But the other chickens still go in there and if I stick my hand in there, she does peck me, which is a good sign that she's a protective mother. Huh. Yeah, you're nice. You're not bothering me too. She didn't peck me yet. I know you can't see, but she's being nice, huh girl? Yeah. So that's actually really exciting. Dizzy might actually hatch out her own baby chicks here before Christmas. <sighs> all right, I'm gonna try and feed all this excess down into the lower level. I gotta shut this off because I gotta disconnect this. I have a knot in the hose up here in the top of the barn. I gotta get out. We're gonna disconnect here. I'm gonna pull it through. We got the sunset over there and really dark clouds over there to the north. All right, here's our pretzel. Let's hook it up back outside so we know how much to pull in. Puppy, how about that wind, bud? It's blowing out here. This end. Just pull out what we need. I'm not sure I'll get a drop from this side because it's actually going up into the knot. So I might have to just disconnect this end, but I'll still be able to drain the entire hose once we have it in place. Pull it in here. Now we can try and push it all the way down to the bottom floor. We won't have any excess here in the upper floor to freeze. Just like that, and I just need to mount this. Now we just need to feed this to the other side. Uh, it looks like the golden hour out there right now. The lighting is just perfect. Not a lot of rain, but we're getting a lot of wind and a lot of clouds. Oh, Piper. Oh, it's definitely the golden hour out there right now. The lighting is just beautiful. Looks like a filter. Oh, Piper. Oh, puppy. Thanks, Bert. We got one. We got a rainbow. It's only part of, well, no, we got a whole rainbow, actually. Look at that. This is all the way across the full arch. Thanks, Bert. It looks like the metal's flapping on the roof that I put up there. I knew I needed to strap that far corner down better. I'm gonna have to take care of that before the night's over. Oh, uh, it's a double rainbow. We got a second one right beside it, stretching all the way up there. That's a full rainbow. What was that? Is that lightning? I'm enjoying a rainbow here and someone's getting rained on. It's not me though. Oh, I didn't get it on video, but the bird box lid just slammed shut. Scared all the ducks. Oh, the fence is down over here. Ducks, you've been free ranging the whole time. 
That's also why I want to get the corner posts up so then I can get this fence stretched and attached. Right now it's just leaning up against the posts. Ah, there we go. Oh yeah, I can hear the thunder out there. Come on, pup. Let's try and get this water done. What's going on, Piper? Ducks, you're not going in yet, are you? I'm going to give the ducks all fresh water and then I'll have some to pull out of the upper tank. All right, all the pools and the bowls are full of fresh water. Everything's clean and the storm, it completely passed over me. I'm not going to be getting any more rain. I'm in like a microclimate bubble here. I don't get a lot of the rain that the local area gets or what the forecast shows. My brother's only like four or five miles away from me and he gets more rain than we do. And it doesn't look like there's any more coming. We're all set up here. I put this bag here so we don't have any splash and it works really well. So that's been going on. But we are all set up here with the hose. We don't have all the excess up here in the top. So we're going to turn the water back back on pretty fluffy clouds out there and inside the barn I don't have it secured up right now but we have it steadily sloping all the way down to the hole in the floor and then it drops down in here to the lower level and I do have it still coiled up here on a nail and then dropping down into the tank but we're gonna turn it on now and we'll see if we have some flow and I can tell right away it's already leaking out of the connection and I don't think that's full flow so we'll see if that picks up here but I'm going to leave this go for now and run down to the house and grab the plumber's tape to see if I can get this connection any tighter. All right, I'm going to shut this off and disconnect it at the point that it's leaking. So I didn't think it was that spot. That's the piece that I can't get apart, the one that's leaking. There we go. All right. So the first time I just wrapped the tape around flat, so I'm going to pull all that off. And the trick I saw to do is to take a piece and twist it into a ribbon like this that you can fit into the threads. I'm going to put this into the thread. I think kind of like that. And then go around with the flat. Seal it all in. All right, let's try this again. Put it in the quick connect. Still leaking. No way. Look at that. Leaking pretty good, too. Hello, Piper. What are you doing over here, girl? You hop up to see if you can help. I'm trying to see if you can help, girl. Yeah, it's okay. You can stay. You don't have to run. All right, I have it wide open and it's not really flowing very well and it's leaking out of the connection. So I don't think this float valve is gonna work. I think I'm gonna have to go get an adapter for that other float valve and see if I can hook that one up. And when I take off the float valve, we do have a pretty steady water flow here. So I think the float valve is the problem. It's not the hose right now. I couldn't bring myself to cut that hose just yet. I do think it's not gonna freeze as often with it being down here in the bottom of the barn. So it might not be as big a problem, but I like having some length on that hose cause I spray down the pigs or wash down the the walls when I repaint it so I don't want it restricted just hanging on the tank I do want a little bit of flexibility with it so I don't want to cut it just yet I'm gonna leave it down here and see if that actually freezes a bunch and get, causes any problems but I'm running out of daylight outside and the ducks are starting to migrate their way over here so I'm gonna let this fill up like this but that's gonna be all for this one not all the plans work out and I'm just bringing you along for the whole process here on the homestead and if you enjoy these homesteading videos make sure to subscribe down below hit that like button before you leave and you can see me and echo on the next one thanks for watching.